everybody, this is Praxis, and I changed the chain on the chainsaw, and it really has made all the difference. Apparently, the chain I had on there before was really lousy in some way. I had been sharpening it, um, but I don't know. Uh, maybe there's some other defect with the chain or something like that. But now this saw is working the way that I would expect, and you can see all the logs that I just lopped off here. Whereas before, it was really laborious trying to just get one off. Now I'm going around using the chainsaw the way it's supposed to be, where you know you're you're just nipping everything off and looking for more place to cut. I'm going to do one here as a demo for you guys, just so you can see how much better it is this time. I appreciate all you guys that gave me feedback, uh, telling me that there you know this wasn't working properly before. Sometimes when you're not familiar with something, or you know you're just used to things not working well, you. You accept when things, you know, are are junky, you know, because you just don't know any better. That can work for chainsaws. That can work for, you know, kids that grow up in like, you know, terrible neighborhoods. They just don't realize that the world could be so much better. That that works for people who live under horrible governments. They, you know, they just don't realize that government can work better. I like to believe that anyway. And chainsaws can work better too. And let's take a peek at this. to be one thing and I wonder if you guys can give me your feedback on this I've been having a bit of an issue with the uh, the cuts curving you know I was cutting down through this and you can see there's a real kind of a curve in this case it, it curves down to my right uh, even when I'm like aware of it and kind of thinking I'm gonna fight against it the blade really wants to go that way I wonder if you guys can give me some feedback on something I might be doing wrong or something that I could adjust on the chainsaw that would you know, fix that. Again, this is one of those things where I'm just kind of used to it and uh, I've been dealing with it, but you know, maybe it's another thing like the chain where I shouldn't have to deal with it and I can fix it and make it better. So I'm starting to power through this a lot faster than I have been before. That's pretty nice because, you know, time of this recording, it's early June and you know, there's only so much summer. I want to get this project done. I want to get solar panels up on the top of the roof over there. And I might mention, uh, if you look behind you to your left, uh, I've had this red car, this Subaru, for a while. I just swapped out the Prius that I had had for, it was an 11, 11 year old Prius at this point, and uh, I swapped it out for a new one. The reason was that were, uh, mice just kept getting at the wiring uh, and they would shoot it all up. And you know, between that and the fact that it was getting on in years, um, I wanted to swap it out. Uh, and you know, now wasn't the best time financially for me to do that, but I jumped on it now because you know, we know what's going on with the, the semiconductors and microchips and all that. and. Uh, a lot of that goes into vehicles and you know, I, I didn't want to be in a situation where my car completely died and it just couldn't be repaired and I couldn't get a new one. So, you know, I jumped on and I did that. I'm not recommending everyone go out and buy new vehicles, but you know, if you're on the fence and you're thinking about maybe doing it soon, uh, you know, now might be a good time to do that because of, you know, those shortages that are coming down the road. It's awfully nice to have a car that doesn't have like the, the brake scraping and warning lights flashing constantly too because that's what I'd had uh, the, the the final blow to the last one was that uh, the hazards turned on and they wouldn't turn off and the only way to turn them off uh, was to pull the fuse in the front which also p pulled the fuse for the directional signals uh, so I drove to the dealership <laughs> using arm directional signals uh, to get there so uh, you know if you're on the fence about a vehicle now might be a good time because there might be shortages coming down the road but the one thing I know that I'm short on is time and I'm glad that I was able to accelerate some of this work with the tip from you guys to replace out that chain. That's it. Thanks for watching.